हाय फ्रेंड्स आई एम विवेक व्यास वेलकम टू माय चैनल नेटवर्किंग ट्रेनिंग फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ सीसीएनए आवर टुडेस टॉपिक इज बेसिक्स ऑफ नेटवर्किंग दिस वीडियो इज डिवाइडेड इन टू पार्ट दिस इज पार्ट वन सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ वॉट इज नेटवर्क वी आर यूजिंग नेटवर्क इन अवर डेली लाइफ बट इफ समन आस्क अस वॉट इज नेटवर्क वी आर अनेबल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन सो लेट सी what is network in network you may find different types of devices like computer switch server or router so first of all we can say that network is a set of devices and this devices must be connected using some link using some transmission medium so we can add in this that it is a set of devices connected by using some communication link that communication link may be wireless now after the connection happen between the devices and one device want to transmit the message to the another device at that time they must follow some rules rules will be said as a protocol in terms of network so further we can add that using some protocol and finally what is the objective for connecting this devices with each other the objective is to share the data and resources so this will be the definition of the network it is a set of devices connected using some communication link that link may be wire or wireless using some protocols in order to share the data and resources and one more thing the devices which are connected in the network must be able to send and receive the signal so you may find number of network example in today's world but the example i like the most is the human yes you may ask how how and i will say that if we fit in the definition of network then we are in our network so let us revise the definition of network definition says that it is a set of devices so you and me are the one device for example computer have their own software and hardware installed in it in the same way we are also having the different types of software and, and hardware installed in us then further definition says that connected by using some communication link so we are connected using the wireless link then using some protocol yes we are also using the protocols so what we have said protocol is a set of rules used during the communication so we are using the protocol at the time of communication for example when we are talking with our parents rules are different when we are talking with teachers rules are different when we are talking with our friends rules are different so we are also using some protocols and finally what is the objective of our communication so objective of our, of our communication is to share the knowledge with each other so we are fitting in this definition so we can say that we are in our network our next topic is data communication so what is data communication data communication is nothing but the transmission of message between sender and receiver using some transmission medium or you can say using some communication link but to make this communication more effective there are four characteristics first one is a delivery what is delivery so when sender is transmitting some message to the receiver it must receive by the exact receiver it must not receive receive by the another device second one is accuracy so when sender is passing the message to receiver that same message must be received by the receiver in other word you can say that that message must not be modified or must not be altered in between next is a timelines so when sender is passing message to the receiver that message must be received within the time by the receiver for example if you are passing some registration information to your friend to register in some portal and this is the last day of registration and your friend is receiving your message day after tomorrow so now whatever information is transmitted by you have no value so message must be received in a particular time period and the last that gap and the last one is a jitter 
what is jitter so jitter is a difference of time between two message received for example you are passing some audio and video to your friend the first audio and video receiving 30 millisecond and the second audio and video receiving 40 millisecond so between these two messages there is a gap of 10 millisecond that gap is first of all said as a jitter now because of this gap the quality of audio and video will be degraded so that must not happen so for the effective data communication these are the four characteristic moving to the next point data flow what is data flow data flow is nothing but the direction of the data in which way data is transmitted so basically there are three types of data flow first one is a simplex or you can also say is a one way direction in that sender is transmitting the data and receiver only can receive the data receiver cannot transmit the data back the best example of simplex communication is you are typing some message using your keyboard and it will be display on the monitor so in that case monitor can only receive the data monitor cannot able to transmit back the data to the keyboard next one is a half duplex so in half duplex communication both the device can transmit the message but at a time only one transmitter can transmit the message that is when one sender is transmitting the message other has to only receive so you can say that half duplex is a two way communication but at a time only one can transmit the message the best example of half duplex communication is walkie talkie next is a full duplex so full duplex is a two way communication is a two way communication in which both the device can transmit at the same time the best example of full duplex is mobile communication next point is types of connection so in network you may find two different types of connection first one is a point to point connection in point to point connection there will be a dedicated link between a pair of devices and that link only used by that two devices so advantage of this type of connection is the two devices can able to utilize the bandwidth of that link but the disadvantage of this is the connection cost will increase because to connect every two devices you need one cable another connection type is multi point over here more than two devices will share a single channel so you can say that the bandwidth will be shared between number of devices connected with the link but over here advantage is the cost of the connection is less so that's all in today's video please like share and subscribe the channel